Good morning viewers! Welcome to our Good Morning Tarot. <laughs> Just before I started this video, I was giving them a quick bath. Just a quick bath because uh, some uh, there are some crystals that uh, enjoy in water. They, they don't no problem with water. But there are some also who are a little bit sensitive with water. I just gave them a quick bath after uh, 24 hours of being exposed in the windowsill under the moon. Okay, well, it was new moon yesterday, uh, beginning of new moon yesterday, so they had a quick bath. Well, I was giving them a quick bath, insight started coming to me, and uh, one one of them was when I was taking a bath of this one of these crystals. Now it's, it's an amethyst, and uh, well she's quite unusual because uh yeah she has a lot of white lines i the the white the white streaks that i see in her uh, makes her a little bit different from the ones that are yeah shine like this one no S things that are uh smooth no uh somehow the the white parts made me feel that maybe this crystal has undergone a lot of challenges during its existence and it caused this white stress. Maybe it makes me feel that these are stress, stress, uh, stress marks, something like that. Okay. And you know, while I was uh, looking at her, while I was giving her a short bath, it made me think that there's beauty in scars. Uh, sometimes the those that have undergone a lot of trials in life those who might physically might not might no longer look as attractive as, as they had used to be are usually the crystals that are the ones that are really very helpful they give you a lot of energy they they're really beneficial for you you just feel drawn to these crystals no so it's like that the same also with people some people they may not look very attractive in all external purposes but you feel drawn to them and when you get close to them you realize that they are so beautiful as a person so beauty is not skin deep <laughs> that's what came to me while i was watching them uh, that insight uh, usually the most beautiful things in life cannot be seen or touch they can often usually be felt by the heart and by the spirit uh, beauty that comes from within makes me think of the card strength you no know? yeah that's why I, I like also my crystals here thank you crystals they they've been joining with me for quite some time you know? these guys usually they hide at the back of the big crystal ball that i have the glass crystal ball they are usually helping us but they hide at the back <laughs> they are uh, camera shy usually but they are the ones who are giving me insights usually and uh, informations also these guys are uh, well they're used to the lime light bird but they they are just silent they silently there every once in a while they also help us by giving us insights no hmm. So this one somehow makes me feel right now that uh, pamper yourself today okay um, feel regal okay Re being regal being uh, something beautiful is uh, you don't have to be expensive about it <laughs> sometimes it's just with the way you exude yourself it's already enough okay now let's try to see what is our main energy for today One more shuffle. Okay. Earlier, also, <laughs> sorry for for the di digression. I saw some orbs, orbs. Okay, O R B S. And the first time I saw it, okay. Uh, for they say, so I started asking okay i started researching okay orbs orbs i've been hearing orbs before but because i have not had that experience before i i didn't 
research on it too much. It didn't give much attention. Well, I gave some. This time, I since I experienced it, I started reading about it. And sometimes they say when you see white orbs, their spirits, uh, they're parts of the spirits of your parents, who most of them uh, who have gone ahead of us. Well, yeah, it's a very consoling feeling. It's a very consoling feeling to see that orb today. Okay. Uh, our main spirit is very nice. Okay. It's the spirit of the sun. And it's Sunday here. Okay. Sunday is a day of rest. Yeah. That's what came to me right now. I don't know if we still do that in this present time. I know in the olden times, people will consider Sunday as a very special day. Even in my family, Sunday is a special day. Uh, I hope it's still a special day for all of you. A day to really enjoy the present moment, to bask in the sun. Sunday is a day you can spend with your loved ones. Because maybe for some of you, well, for some of us, we have been too preoccupied with career, preoccupied with... Uh, yeah meeting other people outside that sometimes we no longer have time with the people who are close to us the people who stay with us through thick or thin maybe th this main energy is maybe an invitation for us right now to spend more time with those people who have been with us through hardships through good times also who've always been supportive to us even when uh, uh, the world don't believe in us they continue to believe in us now it's like you and me against the world something like that the, i feel this is the main energy right now uh, enjoying the love of the universe the love of the divine basking in in thankfulness at the same time also <clears throat> nurturing your inner child this can symbolize your inner child. Set your inner child free. Maybe it's time for you to uh, pursue a certain habit that you, you used to do when you were young, but you're no longer doing. For example, if before you, when you were young, you enjoyed doing watercolor painting, maybe it's time for you to go back and do it again. <laughs> uh, riding a pony, okay, maybe that's one of your bucket lists things that you wanted to do when you were young uh, who knows maybe you an opportunity arises and you can get the chance to ride a pony yeah then maybe this is the time just be careful no don't make the pony run too fast that you might fall okay <laughs> just a joke anyway uh yeah the main energy is nurture yourself i feel right now and spend more time with your people you love okay hmm, beautiful we have the queen of pentacles it's true nurture yourself spend more time alone have a quiet moment with yourself be creative you see here the the bunny be creative be among plants i think being among plants yeah. uh, you check your room you check your office does it have plants okay it has a positive effect and oftentimes the plants do not take much care if you put them in a small container uh, there are plants that you can put in water that you can change only after every every few days maybe once a week or twice a week there are plants also that you can water only once a week no doesn't take much care but they brighten up the place where you are in most of the time okay so something to do also with plants now let's try to see another card okay get your relationships in order okay you see here the cups are in well order and this person is happy when you have you are in good relationship with people it makes us feel good no especially when you notice that people are happy to be with you uh, when the moment they see you they smile <laughs> instead of when they see you they frown and then suddenly you 
it, it's I remember when we were still studying you no know, and uh, the the superior the, the sort of like the the highest position in the school sort of like the administrator of the school something like that well uh, he also is our professor and uh, he's a little bit strict okay so I, I I can't help but smile sometimes because when they are yeah well sorry I, I know we should not talk too much about these things but it's, it's so funny because some people would when they encounter this person uh, from afar when they see him already from afar you see them little by little going other ways <laughs> going out of the way so you try to see uh, this is an invitation for us to get our relationships also into order as you give time to yourself maybe it's time for us also to give time in our relationship especially those relationships that affect us very much those relationships that are significant in our life to spend more time with them uh, to put our affairs in order this is what uh, came to me immediately when i wrote so this card to put our affairs in order so that when we meet these people instead of avoiding us instead of frowning when they see us they immediately smile and they immediately run towards us okay somehow that's why i made that sharing it's when people are drawn towards us because they yeah they, they are drawn to our energy energy they are drawn to our disposition uh, usually the those people with good vibrations they draw people together they draw people towards them for example if you go to a public place and you are very observant you will see those people who have positive energies especially those who are given by the divine gift of sensing energies no? or sometimes seeing them you will notice those people with good energies go good vibrations they draw people to them and when you look at the crowd those with good energies they have a bigger cluster of people and those who have uh, well those who exude maybe tension or whatever it is energies that are low level uh, well they're oftentimes have lesser cluster of people and usually you draw also to yourself the same energies so uh, what I see right now in this good morning tarot is today is a time for you to nurture yourself a time for you to spend some time alone spend some time with nature and maybe uh, give time to do certain hobbies things that would enrich you and at the same time also to get your affairs in order okay if having good relationships with people uh i remember this good fences make good neighbors okay even your neighbors i mean yeah what is our relationship with our neighbors also things like this the, the little things uh, they contribute to our well-being a lot so these are what i see right now for our good morning tarot it's a uh, sort of like a maintenance thing it's like uh, giving your spirit your heart and your whole being a bath okay just like this crystal so these are the things that i see and they are very positive for today so slow down today is sunday just enjoy the day and uh, it's not really a waste of time when you look at it because when you go back on monday when you go back to your work and you're positive you will be able to <clears throat> accomplish more things so nurture yourself nurture your relationships and nurture your relationship with everything okay well that's it for our tarot reading for today let us now go to the self-care tip okay everyone for our self-care tip it is it has the same message as as the cards that we just read you know? it says here rest is not idleness and to lie sometimes on the grass under the trees on a summer's day listening to the murmur of water or watching the clouds float across the sky is by no means a waste of time by john lubok it's true 
taking a rest, being close to nature. It's very much similar to the message that we saw in the tarot card reading. Spending time to nurture yourself, spending time to be with nature, lying on the grass. When was the last time you lay down on the grass? When was the last time you looked up into the sky and just enjoy watching the clouds? When was the last time you just listened to the sounds of nature? No, it's not a waste of time, it's true. It's like uh, nurturing your soul, your heart, your whole being. I mean, we do that a lot of times when we were young. Uh, sometimes responsibility makes us miss those beautiful, quiet moments. And the card reminds us, it is not a waste of time. And I think we need that. I think this moment, since all the messages that we get is close to that, maybe many of you viewers need it right now. So take it if it resonates with you. Now it says here also, while you eat lunch, take a few minutes to sit quietly outside and listen to the nature around you. Hmm. Yeah, true. It's nice also no, no, to eat outside every once in a while. Uh, if you cannot, at least put a lot of plants maybe around you as you eat. If you cannot go out of your office or you cannot go out of your home, surround yourself with a lot of plants uh, and also pets maybe. Uh, or open your window, let the air in. Uh, Sometimes also decluttering, you know, uh, putting things into order uh, makes sort of refreshes also the energy around us. So right now it seems that the invitation for you right now is to taking a pause and just letting the universe pamper you. Okay, so that is what we can see here. Let us now try to read from the handbook and try to read about internal self here uh, with regards to rest is not idleness hmm. it's nice okay um, for the internal self-care it says here um, one of the wonders of the human body is its ability to regulate its internal systems through its senses and its perceptions of the surrounding environment today Honor your body's innate ability to find balance by spending some quiet moments in a natural outdoor space. Breathe some fresh air. Breathe fresh air. Feel wind on your cheeks. Listen to birds or other sounds of the world and activate your senses. Try not to, to do anything, okay? Try not to do anything. Be still. Notice how your body feels. Take some deep breaths. Well, I don't think it's hard to do. Yeah. And sometimes all you need is a few minutes. Okay, for the external self-care, it says here, much of humanity is forced through our work systems to spend most of their lives indoors, awash with artificial light, screens, and lack of mobility. The predominantly indoor experience can lead to a fundamental disconnect from our senses and our bodies we can become imbalanced as our mental faculties take precedence over our experience, so much so that it may be difficult to identify at any given moment how we are feeling emotionally or how our bodies feel throughout the day. Yeah, uh, you try to notice, okay, do you feel numbed or drained at the end of the day? Hmm. Yeah, they have a point here. Okay, let's continue. Where do you spend most of your time? Do you work indoors or outdoors? 
When was the last time you spent time resting outside, just taking things in? Today, take a few moments on either side of your workday to, stop out, to step outside and just be. Do not do anything. Use your senses. Notice how your body feels and any ship shifts in mood. Okay, maybe I should take this advice also. <laughs> well, that's it for today. I hope that our self-care tip and our tarot reading has helped you, maybe given you insight and maybe inspired you to move forward. Uh, I hope to see you again <clears throat> in our next videos. Thank you for the likes and comments you've given to the channel. Thank you for subscribing. Until next time, may God continue to bless your ways. Good morning.